Coach Gaz with the Juggernaut Thought. My Juggernaut Thought is this. Is January the hangover month of the calendar year? Think about it. In December, you're going out for drinks. Your social schedule doubles or triples. You're going to work parties and social parties and catching up with friends that you haven't caught up with before and making holiday plans and booking accommodation and planes and luggage and trips and down the coast and you know making plans for the summer and all this sort of stuff and then you have a couple of weeks off you have all the family commitments or your social commitments or you have an, you know, uh, a Christmas where you're just spending time with your family your, your work routine is disrupted which can be a good thing because you know you get some time off over, over the end of the year I'm not saying that's a bad thing but then you come back into the new year you might make a resolution or two you kick back and then you know fifth sixth of January you're back at work and you're pulling your normal hours again and it's a pretty rude shock it's a pretty rude transition and then you're trying to uh, get used to that again and then you you know putting in your workouts in again and you're trying to adjust your nutrition from fruit cake and turkey roast to sandwiches and salads and um, yeah, it, it's easy to feel a lot, little off kilter and, and uh, I'm not immune to this but I've also noticed it with um, the people around me is that January is, is can be a hard month to kind of recalibrate and, and get started of things and maybe that's part of why New Year's resolutions um, don't work. But if January is a hangover month, how can we start the year on a better note? You know, um, when I was drinking a lot, I never used to get hangovers. I used to get incredibly drunk, but I never used to get hangovers. Um, but I always feel a bit shitty the next day, you know, and I'd, I'd eat terrible and I'd sleep a lot and uh, I'd drink a lot of water or Powerade to get me going again and a few Panadols, but how can, how can we do that for the year? I mean, you can't just feel yourself to the start of the year on Suvlakis and Panadol. Um, so how do you start yourself off into the year? Is it allowing yourself more of a, a, a transition and planning not to go from you know zero to a hundred in the space of a day or in the space of a week? Is it gradually reintroducing yourself back into your life for the year and not trying to do it just in the first week of January? Maybe that's the month. Maybe that's the month you need to settle back in. And if you're not a hundred percent settled, maybe you give yourself the time and the grace to do that without beating yourself up. I don't know. It's just a thought. Is January a hangover month? Do you struggle in January settling back into your routine? What have you found? Have you always found that you're a bit hard on yourself? Oh my God, the year started. You know, I need to get back into it. I've only got 11 months to Christmas. I don't know. Anyway, this is Coach Gaz with a juggernaut thought slash wondering. Uh, if you've got any answers on this, let me know. Cheers, bye.